Hello gamers, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the best looting spot in the game. This is going to get you all of the high, like the high end tier three materials that you're going to need for crafting all of the late game materials. And it's also going to give you some early game stuff as well. Now I will say you can get this very early. Like if you're level 10 or 20 or whatever, you can definitely do this method and get some of these materials. But it is obviously going to be easier at the higher level you are. Now on day one, I made a mad dash up here at the top left of the map for this location. And as I was explode, exploring this very high end area, there's a lot of mobs that are just too difficult for me to take on. And then so many trips all the way down south just got really frustrating and annoying. So I thought to myself, well, what could I actually get from this location right here? And like actually be able to survive and what i found is that there's literally like every high-end item in the game you can get very easily here even at a low level so i'm going to show you exactly the path i do and the loot i get so at the north part of the town uh this little road right here if you come over here and kind of hang out to the side and then just do your little dash you can get away from the mobs it might aggro them but there's actually a little hole in the wall here that you could sneak inside There'll be some of these like uh, peasant, worker, lady, men, whatever you got going on here. There's just, just some standard NPCs there. And if you come back here, you can get like, I just got some whetstone there. There are lots of guards patrolling the area, but if you stick to the shadows, and even if they catch you, there are so many areas that you can just dash around and then hide for a second that they're not even going to bother you. And what you're looking for is literally barrels. There are some chests in this area, but barrels are the main thing that you want. So we got some fish oil right there. Let's take a look in here. Let's break these. Get these. Uh, nothing there. Now over here on the docks is one of the best areas. So let's go ahead and grab these. There's also a backside over here. That you can that has a ton of these little crates and you can get things like imperial thread iron bars copper bars and stuff like that so instead of farming copper down in the mine down south i was just coming up here and breaking these crates and getting bars that are already smelted for me so we got some schematics there we got some more whetstone here and we all know early game like getting wet stones was such a problem but now you get so many wet stones. So we got some sulfur ore there. Let's zoom over here. And this is just the stuff that's in the little alleyway. Once we get over to the dock, it's a lot better. So we got fish oil, sulfur ore. We got glass, sulfur ore. Now, whenever I make a trip and I go through this town, I usually come out with at least 100 glass, which is great because you need glass for a lot of items in the game. Got more sulfur there. Let's shoot on over here. And then once you get to the docks on the far left, we have iron ingots. There are just so many crates, fish oil, copper ingots, and we don't even have to smelt this stuff down. More fish oil. Inside here is one place that I've actually got some of the rarest books for um, like high end armor and stuff like that. I got some more copper ingots and I will show you that just, well, there's one right there. A night stone of the beast. Um, uh, this is really great. I'm actually going to head back to my base now so someone don't kill me because I am on official PvP. So I'm going to grab this stuff and uh, drop that off at my base and uh, we will pick this up where I left off. Let me just clear out this room. Like I said, there are so many stuff. I'm only level 55 and I got that book to drop for me already. And that's going to allow me to craft some really great armor later on. All right, made it back to the base. I'm going to throw that in there. Night Stone of the Beast. This is what we've collected already after just a handful of crates. We got 16 copper ingots, iron ingots, some sulfur ore, schematics, glass, fish oil, six wet stones, and then a couple other things. So let's head back now. So um, now that we're back, there's actually some crates that already spawned back. And one of the refresh timer on a lot of these crates is literally just like five to ten minutes. So you can keep farming this area over and over. The fishing dock is one of the best spots in this uh, whole town because there's just so much good stuff. As you've seen, I just got that really rare book and that's going to allow me to do a lot of things uh, faster because you have to find a lot of those items. Otherwise, you just cannot progress in the game. And if you can already farm up a lot of that stuff early on, then it's going to make your life a lot easier when you are at the point that you can actually use that stuff. So back here, we have some more stuff whetstones schematics let's 
Grab this fish oil. Um, that is another thing I forgot. You can get a lot of fish down here at the docks. This is where I got most of my fish. We got Imperial Thread, another Imperial Thread, a Gem Dust, and the fish will allow you to keep your prisoners alive, and uh, you, you don't want to lose those. I don't have a video on the prisoners or the servants yet, but I will be making one, so make sure you like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing that. Another thing, a benefit about this place is these mobs right here, or these NPCs, you can just take them as your servants, and if you have a base close by, you can bring them there because there are some really high level NPCs here that are going to work as your servants and it'll make things a lot easier for you as well. So as you see, if you've been watching, we are getting so much stuff. There are some enemies, but they haven't really bothered us yet. And if you're at the point that you can actually defeat the uh, boss or the enemies around here, they drop some really good loot. I kind of have trouble doing that. I'm only level 55. So for now, I just stick to breaking the crates. And we just got some Highland Lotus Seeds. So we need that. I am going to grab that. My Sulfur. Copper Ingots. And we are going to keep moving down south. Now, if you stick over here to the dock, if there's mobs patrolling, they usually won't see you. So you can just keep breaking all of these crates. We got glass, more schematics. Um, you get the picture. There's a lot of stuff. And then inside the town, there are actually more chests and things like that. And there's also a trader down here in this section at the Bright Haven slums. There's a house right here. If you go there, you can actually trade him silver for some various items and cosmetics. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of this stuff here. And then I will show you all of my loot after probably about 10 minutes or one run through of this. All right, we are back at base. I'm going to go ahead and collect the stuff that I got earlier. And I don't have... Okay, there we go. So let's take a look at what we got after about 15 minutes down there. One run through. And by the time I got done like making a lap, the stuff at the dock and all the other stuff had already respawned so I could give it another go. So right here, we have the Highland Lotus Seeds. We got a wide blood case. Some rats, a ghost shroom spores, this a night stone of the beast, a flawless amethyst, a bunch of wet stones here. We have uh, 25 sulfur ore. We got fish oil, imperial thread, 10 paper, um, a two pristine leather, 88 copper ingots, 51 schematics, 44 glass, 28 iron ingots, so 500 more sulfur, another 100 fish oil. And I got to say, like, no joke, this is probably my least, like, this is probably the worst loot haul I've actually had. Like, there are so many good things that you can get there. So I highly recommend you use this spot because it's going to help you, especially in the early to mid game. If you sneak in there and start breaking some crates, look how much copper ingots I got. I didn't have to fight anyone. I had a couple of them chase me. I just dodged around the corner and I was safe. Um, and you got some leather right here. You have ironing. It's like so much stuff early game that's going to help you. And then you have a small chance of getting some outrageously good stuff like this Night Stone of the Beast. So that is it, guys. I, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more content like this or secrets to help you get through the game and make your life a lot easier, I will definitely help you out with that. And uh, especially with V Rising being such a great game and getting the massive popularity that it has already. I can see this game going lots of places. So if you want to follow me on my journey with it and I will follow you guys with your journey on this game, then subscribe to the channel. Maybe hop in my Discord and uh, yeah, we can chat about the game. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.